today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the, the top five strong safeties in Madden FUS 16. For those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, my name is Cody, and what we want to do here at this YouTube community is we're trying to foster a community that is really revolving around the goal that we want to make ourselves better at Madden NFL 16. Now we do this through a variety of different types of content, but in today's video, we're in our Madden Ultimate Team budget series, and the goal of this series is to give you five guys that you can get a lot of value in for under 5,000 coins apiece in Madden Ultimate Team. So if you're looking to improve your roster and don't really have the coins to, to buy those top tier like, you know, Barry Sanders or, you know, guys like that, then I highly recommend uh, watching this video. So uh, yesterday we talked about the top five free safeties that we look for to improve our game. And today we're taking a look at the strong safeties. Now, the key stats that I like to look for in strong safeties is first and foremost zone coverage. I always look at that just because I play a lot of zone personally, and uh, and so we like to use zone coverages. So, uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to look today at the top five strong safeties to improve uh, in Madden 16. So let's hop into it. So first on our list, um, this is a guy that I really have enjoyed using uh, for most of the game actually, and uh, and he comes to us. From let me see where was he at? I can't quite remember off the top of my head the team he came from. Oh, this guy. Okay, so this guy's a starter guy. This guy's one of those guys that you know there's a lot of value in terms of, of that, but his zone coverage isn't great. But this guy is one of those guys that's a heavy hitter type of player, right? Heavy hitter type of player. And this guy comes to us from the San Francisco 49ers. Now I was using a different card, but I really like this one just a little bit better. And um, if you take a look here. Uh, he's actually not in this tier. He's in the 70 to 79 tier. Um, but if you take a look, well, I guess he's a, f is he a free safety? Okay, well, is he? No. He may be one step even lower. He may be in the 70 overall category. But he's on the 49ers. I know that much. Bear with me, guys. Um, so, here he is. So this is Jaquiski Tart. Now, this is a 64 overall edition. We don't want that one. The one is upgraded one. I guess he may be out of stock, so you may not be able to purchase him, unfortunately. Well, that kind of sucks, because that's the guy I wanted to talk about. Okay, well, we'll give you an alternative. So if you can't find Jaquiski Tart, which, in my opinion, you should look for him, because he has uh, everything this guy has, but he has speed. So if you can't find him, then if you go to the Bengals, you're going to be able to find this uh, Sean Williams card now. For some reason, he's going for 6,000 coins. Guys, he doesn't normally. He's going for like 500 at that. He's pennies, okay, pennies. And uh, the cool stat about this guy is don't look at his own coverage. Don't really look at his man coverage. This is a guy that you may use her. You also may use him in goal line situations. But basically what this guy does really well is he has 89 speed, which is pretty solid for safety. He's 82 tackling, which is really good. He has 85 hit power, so he's going to lay lumber. We saw the hit that he uh, hit uh, laid on the Steelers in the wild card game this season. He has good pursuit. He has 92 acceleration. But the key stat to this guy, what makes him really appear on our list, in my opinion, if you're really going budget and you want to be able to stop the run from your safeties, take a look at this guy's block shed. He's got 79 block shed. For a safety, that is incredible. Most safeties don't even crack the 70s in block shit. So this guy is just a phenomenal in terms of budget tier type of player. And um, I just really recommend him. I think he's I just think he's a really, really solid option that you can utilize. I think he just does a lot of things really, really well for your defense. And so I wanted to at least talk about him or Jaquiski Tart. They basically are kind of very similar players. But, um, you know, definitely, definitely highly recommend that. Um, the number four guy on our list, he, I don't know if he's actually going to make the tier because of his cost. It may be a little too expensive. But that is, um, let's see. This Dion Buchanan is a monster. If you take a look real quick, I do want to show you this. If you're looking for a good user player, this guy's phenomenal if you're just starting out. So I'm actually going to put him number four on our list here because he is, I actually forgot to write him, write him in here. Uh, he's he's really good because he's only 2,200 coins. But what you're going to get is you're going to get 89 speed, which is pretty good for safety, pretty good for any user player. You get that 92 hit power, which is really solid. 
You also are going to get 75 zone coverage. So if you, even if you don't want to use him, you still have 75 coverage, which that 75 coverage, if you're only asking him to cover like flat zones and hook zones, it's going to be decent. But the key stat, this is why I recommend usering this guy. He has 74 catchy. Now at a safety position, that's one of the best in the entire game. And the other thing that he has for you is uh, 86 jumping, I believe. And he has 77 here, 77 spectacular catch. So this guy's just a really good user player. So I highly recommend him. If you're looking to uh, you know, add some user players to your team, you, you, know, you definitely want to consider him. Um, but the other guy that I wanted to talk about from the Arizona Cardinals is the 84 overall Team of the Week edition. And it looks like his price has actually gone significantly up, unfortunately. It used to be about 7,000 coins. But this Tony Jefferson card, the reason I really like this guy is because he does everything you need him to do in the run game. He also has some really cool stats for the passing game. 84 zone, 85 man, very balanced safety. He's probably the most balanced safety you'll ever see. And uh, as you can see here, just a lot of really good stats. And uh, does a lot, a lot of things really, really well. Uh, for your uh, for your defense now the next guy on our list is um, a guy that we again what we like to look for in strong safeties is we do like to look at zone coverage we do like to look at hit power uh, but the main ones we look for they're often the guys that we like to use or control so we like to look for hit power we like to look for speed you like to look for catching and that's why Deion Buchanan really made it on the list but this next guy I want to talk about is one of the probably the best budget items in the game, especially if you're just starting out, it's the Buffalo Bills, and it's the uh, 72 overall edition of Madden 16 Ultimate Team Base Set Edition of Bakari Rambo. Here, what you're going to see is about 2,000 coins. Normally, you're going to see this about 1,500. That's normally what you're going to see with this card, somewhere in there. And um, whoops, not Aaron Williams. We don't give a crap about him. What we want to look at here is uh, Bakari Rambo. So we'll get over here. And here's the key stat. So 87 speed, that's really pretty good for a safety. Um, another thing that he has is 79 zone coverage. It's almost at that threshold of about 80, which is about all, which is kind of that kind of line that I look for when I look for a computer user at safety. I want them to at least have 80 coverage. As you see, he does uh, 79, which is basically 80. The other thing he has is 89 hit power, which is really solid. And if you go over here, you're gonna find that he has 78 catching. Uh, which is a little bit better than Dion Buchanan's, as you can see. He's going to make turnovers for you. This guy's just a really good user player if you're wanting to use as a player. If you're not wanting to use as a player, he still will be okay, and I still highly recommend him for your squad. But he comes in number three on our list. Now, uh, number two on our list, when we're talking about zone coverage uh, specifically, um, you know, you're not going to find a ton of great options when you're looking at, um, when you're looking at safeties. Uh, it's just the way that it works, unfortunately, especially with budget guys. What you're really wanting to look for is off, uh, is speed and hip power, and those are the those are really the two key stats that you know you probably want to look for. And if you could find some decent zone coverage out of that, uh, then you want to take a look at that. But the guy that I wanted to show you guys uh, today is uh, a pretty good a pretty good user player. But the other thing that he has going for him is he's got some decent. He's got decent enough coverage. He's similar to this Bakari Rambo. I think he's a little bit better than him. But he comes to us from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that is uh, Shamarco Thomas. This guy is a 75 overall. Again, about 1,500 coins all you're going to need. You look at this guy's stats. This guy's phenomenal. He's got 90 speed, 90 hit power. That 1-2 combination is really, really the best we've seen so far. 76 zone coverage, very similar to that Dion Buchanan card. Uh, a little bit higher than him. But, again, if you ask him to play an underneath zone, he's going to do it just fine. He just can't do everything else that you're going to ask. Like, if you're going to ask him to play, like, a deep third or a man-to-man -man on somebody, you know, you don't want to ask him to do those things. But underneath stuff, he will be just fine. The other thing that he has is 84 Pursuit. Uh, that 84 Pursuit is really, really solid. Uh, when you think about how he's going to be able to, uh, how he's going to be able to really move in and out of what he wants to do with that and, and tackle the football player, tackle runs and things like that. Um, the one kryptonite to this guy is his catch rating is a little bit lower, um, but again, you know, 90 speed, 93 acceleration, you can't really beat that for 1,200 coins, especially at a strong safety position that you're going to be usering. Um, and I find that his 55 catching doesn't really affect a whole lot of things, but this guy just has some, some really good physical attributes. All right, guys, so number one on our list here, and I honestly, I went back and forth and back and forth. I couldn't really decide 
between really two players, and I was thinking about just letting you guys decide, but I've actually come up with why I think this guy's probably the best option. So this guy comes to us from the Buffalo Bills, and it is the 82 overall Aaron Williams Team of the Week Edition card. Okay, so the Team of the Week Edition card from the Buffalo Bills here. And this is Aaron Williams. Now, he's right at the threshold. As you can see, he's 5,100 coins right now. Normally, he's a little bit cheaper than that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that other guy then uh, because he is a little bit over the threshold right now. But if you take a look at this guy's stats, he has 92 speed, which is phenomenal at that safety position. 80 hit power, which means he's going to be able to come down. He's going to be able to lay some lumber. You know, he's no joke with the hit power, right? Um, the other thing that this guy is going to be able to give you is um, some decent tackling, Pretty good zone coverage for a safety. And if you go over here, 68 catching, which is, again, right at that threshold. 71 tackling, which is pretty solid uh, for what he's going to be doing. Uh, the pursuit isn't quite there, but the hip power is there. Everything's there. So definitely recommend this guy. I think he's I think he's one of the best budget options you can get if you're looking to play some good zone coverage, but still have somebody that can come down and stop the run. Now, I wanted to show this other guy, and this other guy is super budget option. Um, he's more for, like, strong safety specifically, um, and you're going to want to, you know, you're not going to want to use this guy, but this guy's good for what you'll ask him to do if you ask him to cover, like, underneath zones. And it's the Baltimore Ravens. It's the base um, set edition of Will Hill. Now, this Will Hill card, he has 87 zone coverage, 90 hit power, 77 tackling, 73 pursuit. Those are all really good stats. 88 acceleration. The one thing he doesn't have is speed, as you can see here. Only 82 speed. But, you know, when you take into account the fact that he has everything else that you would want, just not speed, uh, you know, you definitely need to at least consider putting this guy on the field, especially when you're talking about basically you're just going to use him for those underneath type zones because that's often what the safety, the strong safety's in is underneath zones. He's in there to stop the run. That's what he's in. He's like that Cam Chancellor type of player. And, uh, and so that's why we went with what we went with. Um, that's our top five. Uh, I did want to show you one other guy, though, because if you want a guy similar to that Aaron Williams card but can't afford him, uh, you can get this New York Jets card, and it is the uh, team of the week edition of, well, this guy's going for too high as well. For some reason, these guys are going really high right now. Normally, he's like 3,000 coins. But Marcus Williams, you see here, very similar stats. He just doesn't have that 90 hit power that Aaron Williams has. But he has pretty much everything else. Uh, this Marcus Gilchrist is no is uh, not really a strong safety, but if you wanted to move him to a free safety, um, you could with that 90 speed. But, um, but yeah. Okay, so now at this portion of the video, what we like to do is give you a guy that if you spend a little bit more coin on him, he's well worth the value. And uh, this guy ran into the tunnel with Vontaze Perfect uh, during the during the uh, the wild card round with the uh, with the with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that is the uh, addition here of George Iloka. Uh, now, what we love about this George Iloka, you see here, he's pretty budget, right? He's pretty budget. He's borderline should have made it on our top five list, and here's why. Take a look at this base. This is the base set. And I want to. He's not the one I want to talk about. But I will. So this is the base set. He probably belongs on our budget list. I honestly, he's normally going for a little bit more than this, and that's why I didn't put him on the bait on the on the list. But he has 86 speed, 93 zone coverage, 84 hit power, all the things you really need here. Tackling, pursuit, everything's everything's copacetic with this guy. This guy's really a solid, a solid option. But the guy I really want to talk about today is his team of the week edition. His team of the week edition is going for about 18k. I've seen it go a little lower than that. But uh, he's kind of settled in about 18K. And this guy is phenomenal. At 88 speed from a strong safety perspective is really, really good. He's also got 94 zone coverage from a safety position. That's so good and so rare. 87 hit power. He's right at that threshold. We're going to be able to still get some hit sticks with him. 69 tackling. Not the best, but still really solid um, in terms of what we're going to be able to do with this card. I really like this card. Um, again, I don't use her this one. I just let him play, and uh, this guy does really good for me. Uh, again, zone coverage, speed, hit power, it's all there. The other thing with this guy is he's got 68 strength. He's also got 65 catching, 
69 tackling. And if you take a look down here, he's at 71 block shed, which is really good for anyone playing that strong safety position. So, you know, definitely, definitely appreciate appreciate this guy. Um, now, there's one other guy. If you're looking for a user player, uh, I did want to talk about him because he was my user player for a really long time. And he doesn't have his own coverage, but he is a good user player. And that is the uh, Team of the Week edition uh, from the New York Giants. And it's the Madden 16. It's the Team of the Week edition from the New York Giants. It's the strong safety Landon Collins. Here he's going a little bit high. Normally he's under the threshold. But uh, this Landon Collins, the good part about this card, 91 speed, 92 hit power. Bam, bam, great. Other thing that he has is 88 pursuit, 85 tackling. The coverage is pathetic. You're not gonna, you need to use this guy if you're going to use him. But uh, the coverage is good, or the coverage is not good, but the catching, 75 catching, he's going to make plays for you. 85 tackling, 86 jumping. He's also 6'1", I believe, 76 block shed. This guy's a really good run-stuffing guy, and if you use him, it makes him a really good pass defender because you can make up for his lack of zone coverage. So that's what we like in our top five safeties, and I really want to go ahead and just thank you guys for watching. And, uh, and I just really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch today's content. Also, if you're looking for yesterday's video, if you may have missed it, we talk about the top five free safeties in Madden 16, and you can find that video in the description below. Other than that, guys, tomorrow we're going to be doing a really interesting section. We're going to be talking about the top, uh, the top budget kicker and punter combination that you want to look for. These are guys that you're going to look for, and they're really inexpensive. They're, Brandon McManus is going for about 40,000 coins right now. And we're going to show you two guys that are really, really good for a lot less coins that are going to start you out and give you some really good success on the special team side of the ball.